Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're hitting here, sitting here looking at uh, Windows 10 and had a customer recently who was concerned about privacy in Windows 10 and had heard that there were privacy concerns. So I'm just going to point out some of the privacy, well, I guess concerns or issues or whatever you want to call them in Windows 10. Now, I can't swear to you, this is a disclaimer, that I'm going to hit every single one. Um, there's so many that that maybe I'll miss one, but I want to I want to show you a few of them. I'm going to start off with an, kind of an obscure one. I'm going to click on the start button, go to settings, which is kind of like the old control panel, and under update and security, right here under Windows update, um, right here we're, we've, we've got Windows update highlighted over here. We're going to hit advanced options, and then we got to yet hit another place. We've got to hit um, choose how updates are delivered. And then you will see that, maybe to your surprise, that your computer might download updates, not just from Microsoft, but from uh, PC, other PCs on your local network or PCs on the internet. And your computer may also help serve out those updates, meaning you, they'll use some of your bandwidth to send updates to other people on the internet. Um, so yeah, so it says here, when this is turned on, your PC may also send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to PCs on your local network or PCs on the internet, depending on what's selected below. So again, you may not be aware, but some of the Windows updates you're receiving, you might actually be receiving from your neighbor's computer, you know, using their bandwidth um, because they've already downloaded an update that you haven't and vice versa. If you've updated a, a, a downloaded an update that somebody in Bangladesh hadn't downloaded before, Microsoft may use your bandwidth to have you send him the update so that they don't have to use their bandwidth. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's what kind of, kind of what BitTorrent is based on. But it's something you probably want to be aware of. If you don't want any to be involved in any of this, just choose this. Th by turning this off, then your computer will not send any updates out to other computers, and your computer will only get its updates from Microsoft, not from your neighbors or some guy in Bangladesh or whatever. Now, the more obvious place for uh, privacy issues is you click on the Start button, you click on uh, Settings. We're back at the Control Panel, and that's under Privacy, big icon Privacy. So under General, um, there's, a, there's a bunch of different things where communications go back and forth between you and Microsoft. There's your advertising ID. And, you know, all of these are presented in such a way that they're supposed to enhance your experience with Windows. And assuming Microsoft is being forthcoming with what they're saying here, uh, it has the potential to do that. Now, it also gives them some degree of power because you're sending them information about what you do. So, um, if, if used improperly, um, you know, that could be a problem. So if you want to turn off some of these things, you can. Um, the smart screen filter, um, this, this you might want to leave on because this kind of checks for bad applications. Um, this says send Microsoft info about how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. Let websites uh, provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. You know, none of these are like horribly egregious, but they are information that you're sending to Microsoft or other partners. Location. Um, location is turned on by default. So based on your IP address or, or if your computer or device has a GPS, you know, Microsoft or other uh, companies can see your location. And that can be handy. For instance, if you start, if you Google restaurants, well, if the browser, computer, whatever you want to call it, can tell you're in, you know, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, well, then it's going to tend to show you restaurants in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that can be handy. Or if you type in weather, you know, it's going to point you to the weather in the general area where you're located. But do be aware that you can turn this off in location. 
and then you have history, uh, uh, location history. So your computer maintains a history of your location. Uh, again, you can clear that history at any time, or you can just simply turn off history right here. Um, then there's other things like the camera. You know, do you want to let other applications use your camera? So maybe you download, you use Skype, or you use some other chatting software. Um, you know, you want to be able to use your camera with that software. And so that's what this is asking. Currently, just Microsoft Edge has the ability to use the camera. Same goes for the microphone. Um, then this is talking about uh, your, your typing and your voice. You know, do you want to... Basically, it, as it says here, it likes to get to know you. So basically, it watches you and then helps predict uh, what you might want to see in search results. Again, some people would see that as intrusive. Other people would see that as helpful. So you kind of have to decide for yourself if that makes sense for you to do or not. Um, here is more info, you know, allows apps to access your name, picture, and other account information. And there's a privacy statement you can review. And you just kind of go through this whole privacy window. I can't go through every single one of these with you. But I think most of them will make sense. There's a privacy statement with each one. And you probably just want to go through and, uh, and, and review each of these and decide what you want uh, Microsoft mainly to have uh, access to. So hopefully that helps. Um, there, like I said, there may be other places in here where privacy is, um, you know, it, it is an issue. You know, one other thing that Windows can do, uh, and I think it's turned on by default, is if you have a Wi-Fi access point at home, and, you know, obviously that has a password. Well, you, I believe Windows is set up to automatically share that password with all your Facebook friends. Now, they won't see the password, but they, let's say they come over to your house with their device, boom, they're connected to your Wi-Fi and using your Wi-Fi when they come over for a dinner party or whatever. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but most people are not aware of these types of features. And I don't know if I can hit on this or not. It might be under Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't recall exactly where it is. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately. In fact, I think it's this Wi-Fi Sense. So yeah, connect to suggested open hotspots. Connect to network shared by my contacts. So in other words, your contacts or your friends can uh, connect. You can connect to their access points and they can connect to yours. And you can see Outlook.com contacts, Skype contacts, and Facebook friends. So by default, you're sharing your Wi-Fi uh, password and they're sharing theirs with you if your friends are in contact with them on Outlook.com, Skype, and Facebook. Again, um, not necessarily a bad thing. It does say Wi-Fi Sense needs permission to use your Facebook account. So uh, I think you have to actually log into your Facebook account in Windows for that to, you know, obviously you would have to for that to work. Uh, and that's why it's currently complaining because we're not logged into um, Facebook on this computer right now. So just some interesting privacy things to be aware of with Windows 10. Uh, some, maybe some surprises in there. And uh, hopefully that helps you out in deciding what you want to turn on or turn off.